Hi friends, this is Rishi Jagmohan Singh, back with Dynabyte series. And today I have come with a very, very interesting uh, topic. It's called, what is your net promoter score? It's a very interesting tool, which I recently learned from my mentor, Professor Srinivasava in his new book, The New Rules of Business. So I'm sharing with you, <clears throat> uh, before I come to net promoter score, uh, my question to you is, are you converting your customers into brand advocates? And this brings us to question, what are the brand advocates? The brand advocates, my dear friend, are the ones who create buzz, who create buzz around your brand wherever they go. Be it offline in an event or in an organization or online also, giving positive reviews, you know, recommending it. So that is what they create buzz at every given opportunity. What are the traits of a uh, brand advocate? They, they are specific traits of brand advocate. Number one, they are very, very brand loyal, obviously. Number two, they are price insensitive. Number three, they are the, they are the early adopters for your brand. And number four, very, very important. They are the ones who help you out in creating new strategies for the new opportunities. But then the question comes, do brand advocates really increase the bottom line, increase the business? Well, a research by Nielsen company uh, globally, they have come out with the survey, which clearly says that almost 90% of the people, they believe those people whom they trust. And that's where the brand advocacy comes. 70% of the people, they believe online recommendations. And about 34 to 60% of the people, they believe in advertisements, which are given by the brands. So obviously it works. But this also brings to another interesting question that the can brand advocacy be bought? Uh, <clears throat> I advise that we should not believe in any kind of paid uh, influencer marketing or paid brand advocacy because in the long run, it can have a negative impact on the brand. Uh, this brings us to interesting question. Ultimately, what is the net promoter score? <clears throat> so can brand advocacy be measured? Yes, through net promoter score, you can measure the brand advocacy. Uh, before I come to that, in fact, there was a research done by Bain and company, which clearly showed that uh, those companies who had a good net promoter score, uh, they were highly profitable and uh, they were fast growing companies and their net promoter score was double than that of average companies. How do we calculate the net promoter score? It's a very simple one to 10 skill, pick it up and 10 being the highest, ask a simple question to your customers. Will they recommend your brand to their families and the friends? And you will get three kind of clusters. Number one cluster is you will get promoters which will be scoring 9 to 10 scale. They will be passive which are middle level who will be scoring in the range of 5 to 8 and there will be detractors who are less than 3 my dear friends and <clears throat> uh, to calculate the net promoter score you subtract the detractor score from the promoter score and you will get the net promoter score. Question is, is your net promoter score positive and what's a good net promoter score? Anything which is a positive net promoter score is a good net promoter score, friends. How do we get the good promote, net promoter score? Through good customer experiences, getting feedback, uh, recognizing the loyal customers, rewarding the loyal customers, and of course, giving them good experience all the time and keeping them engaged. Before I sign off, let me ask you, what is your net promoter score? Do calculate it and do recommend to others also. And if you are able to calculate your net promoter score, do mention in my comment section also. And uh, for many such stories also, you can also refer to my book, Are Your Digital Dinosaur, where I mentioned about customer experience stories. Uh, till then, live life, and be safe, my dear friends.